Uh, this I was graciously given the key by the dev via key mailer, as happens sometimes. Uh, I do have a mouse, I just turned off cursor capture because it gets annoying. And uh, yeah, one thing you may notice, there's no exit button on this menu, and that's a bit of an oversight, because if you're playing in windowed, like, escape doesn't seem to do anything. So, one slight problem there, but beyond that, it didn't look too bad. Oh, we have some credits. Uh, oh, what other cards do we have? Or are there any purple by default? That matters to me. Hey, you're purple. You're purpler, and I like you a little better. Okay. Wait, why wouldn't you just play as the best car? This is ridiculous. Okay, well, I'm gonna dump a little of acceleration here. Yeah, I feel like there should be, like, an unlock requirement for some of these. Or that or just puts all of the same car up against each other. It does not. This is weird. And yeah, you literally just kind of control it with a WASD. Okay, there's a break on space. Whee! Physics are kind of arcadey, you may have noticed. I like that it's quieter in the, da in the uh, dashboard. I appreciate that. Alright, we have hood cam. We have kind of a cinematic camera. Or no, that was the one we were driving. Okay. It just felt a little wider. Alright, that's not so bad. And I don't think there's controller support, but okay, you have to cl if you click up into the menu, that's why I was flashing like that. Um, it didn't seem to have controller support earlier, anyway. Oh wait, it does. Okay, well then, let's control. He says as he d proceeds not to use the controller support. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any boost or anything. It's pretty straightforward, just drive. Uh, well, while we're driving, I can explain the rules of Bond of the Influence. Uh, I have a beverage of the adult variety. Uh, we play racing games. Clearly. Uh, first place is drink. Every place out of first place is more of a drink. Maybe you sip a shot. As long as second. Don't do shots. You will die of alcohol poisoning. Um, I will also call other uh, drinks as they happen. How long are these laps? I feel like we've been going at this for quite a bit. But that could just be me. Okay. They're just long laps. That's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, other stuff. Uh, I do half second sips of beer because it's a little easier that way and a little easier on my tummy. I'm, 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 not, I'm not as young as I used to be. So there's that. And uh, yeah. Try out some new stuff, some old stuff. Whatever I'm feeling. If scoring it has like stars, like a mobile game or something. Uh... We can uh, drink to stars instead of place. If there's a tournament, I drink to the final results as well as uh, for each race. Not the ladder thus far for each race because that's stacking a little too much in there. But um, yeah, that's it. That's the gist. Uh, if you do not want to drink along, by all means, uh, do not feel pressured. Uh, if you are drinking along, please be responsible within your jurisdiction. Uh, I would say legal, but fuck the police. And... Um, yeah, just don't be stupid. Don't operate heavy machinery during or after uh, drinking along. Maybe don't operate heavy machinery if you're just watching along, but I mean, that's up to you. My driving seems a little twitchy. Yeah, we'll probably jump through to at least a few different cars, see if there's different tracks or anything. And we'll see if the online mode populates, but... Because I think this came up fairly recently. Yeah, it is also, also auto-accelerate, by the way. Like, I am not pressing anything. Again, you can, uh... 
there's a break if you need it, but I've not encountered a, a speed level or any sort of turns that really require it at this point. We did go flying two seconds into the first race, so whatever. But so far, not bad. Doesn't seem to be a button mapped to camera swapping, unfortunately. For that, you would have to do with the mouse and keyboard. Also, I feel like it would be a more, bit more comfortable with mouse and keyboard if you're just doing that. But yeah, here we go. See the end of the last lap. Alright, and we got some credits so we can buy stuff or upgrade stuff or whatever. And I guess we have to exit manually? Oh, you can actually reverse. I like that it reverses your name when you do that. Kind of funny. Uh, alright. Uh, we will... Try this a little lovely. We'll see if this is the same course again. I have a feeling it is, but I don't know. Things are alright, I guess. There wasn't much in the way of settings to mess with, so that's fun. Oh, is this a different course? Change the time of day at least. Not that you really hear the music over the engine whine, but so be it. Uh, no, actually, it might be the same one. This bridge does look familiar. Can you tell I was paying that much attention to the track before? I apologize. Okay, yeah, this does actually look about the same. Oh, it's just a big figure eight or what? But oh, this one feels short. Yeah, this one's definitely shorter than the last one. I guess it just randomly cycles through a bunch of them, or I don't. Maybe it's procedurally generated for all I know. I didn't really read off any information. I'm sorry. I like to go into these blind. Steering is very arcade sensitivity, just point and shoot, as it were. That's the other thing, that's right, yeah, when you go online, it does have you, it, gives you, it lets you just drive around the track while you wait, so. Perhaps we shall do that. So I guess if you wanted to grind credits to upgrade your cars for like without going online, that's perfectly acceptable here, which is nice. Floppy quarter. That's my fault, not the game's fault, obviously. Alright. Uh, can we drink and drive at the same time? Wrong way, uh, no. Okay, that was weird. I don't think we got turned around, right? Right? 
not sure what happened there. I think I triggered something I shouldn't have by accident. The racetrack is haunted. What? Cox gun. Racetrack's haunted. Too tight. Well, whatever. I'm gonna finish this one, make an attempt. To find other players. Can you go into the pit stop? Yes, but it does slow you down. That's kind of funny. I mean, that's what it should do. There's really no need for it. Okay. We shall exit. <laughs> Alright, we'll try an online race. If no one shows up, no one shows up, but you never know. I don't know if anybody else has this yet. Like I said, it's it's fairly recent release. Okay, this is definitely a different layout than the last one, so. Oh, this one has a little drift to it. Hmm. Interesting. Probably give it like three minutes tops. Nobody shows up. We'll at least go and like try like the most jacked car, like the that purple beast at the end of the line. Doesn't seem like there's any cap on upgrades either, other than how much cash you have. So like, I imagine you could get any of the cars up to the same like high performance as that beastly one. Kills for kills, agent. I don't really have. This one's very ass happy. There's a little bit of uh, differentiation of uh, vehicle physics. That, that's good to see. Good to see. Turn me around. Thank you. Oh, we did find the reverse earlier, but yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thirty-five more seconds. If nobody shows. We'll just back out, and I will. Try something more ridiculous. Or if I do it as you know, vehicle requests, just from the visuals, do another scroll through real quick. What a Actually, do the car uh, do the car di interiors differ from vehicle to vehicle? almost recovered actually yeah I think they are different for each car that's cool nice touch I like the uh, completely non-functional rear view mirror but that it even lower res than the rest of the dashboard like it was just thrown in there but can has some reflection properties kind of Well, it seems to just be reflecting some static skybox, like, it seems to actually be playing in the elements behind. Alright, we already hit the three minute mark. 
Okay. Yeah, shadows of the cars having several interiors. Uh, we are going to tr go back to single player mode and try at least one more thing. Oh yeah, I said I would loop through these. Ooh, we got a GT. I'll give that a spin too. Okay, this is the one I wanted to try. Both for the power and the color scheme, more than anything else. Thanks! We're going this way now. A is reverse, okay. Whatever. We'll figure it out. The slowdown on the, uh, the trim and whatnot. Oh, hey! We found a tunnel! Yeah, so... I guess these are procedurally generated courses. That's cool. I like the idea that, like, you just have to look, figure out the courses on the fly, you can't just memorize them. More reactive racing. This thing does not like to turn. It's not like to turn cleanly, I should say. So yeah, just going all in on like the highest highest end vehicle. Not necessarily the most advantageous choice. But it is fair. Getting interesting. Jeez, it's a slippery bastard. At least, at least they found a way to even it out, even if it doesn't I don't honestly feel that much faster, but... Uh. Okay, seriously, this is built for straights. I don't just mean the sissets! Uh, whatever. Kinda wish there was a speedometer, dude. I know we just triggered that wrong way thing again, but that's... That's totally the right way? That's a weird bug, and I don't know how I feel about that. I, I do like the lifting the cars with your car, even though I don't know if that's an intentional effect, but it's a good way to slow down so you don't go flying off the track. <laughs> the strats. Somehow I'm rank one now. I don't know if it boosted me forward or back with that wrong way, but whatever. I just work here. Well, it says I'm in rank one, but... It's like it jumped it for it jumped me forward a lap. All right, physics defied. I'll take it. Yeah, it seems like there's a little jank to work out here. I th I th it feels like it's probably something with the checkpointing system. Nailed it. <laughs> Style points. Yeah, like the checkpoint versus respawns or something. That's weird. I like the no driver in the seat uh, thing. Although, I, the, the, the wheel does move. I can't tell if the wheel moves a little bit or if it's just perspective or perspective related to the camera that's just making me think it's moving. Wow! Somebody just got launched to oblivion. It's amazing. Yeah, a little dry. Oh, there's no music on this course either, I just noticed. Better just so quiet. But there's also no indicator of what those points do. I'm gonna, unless it's the, the leaderboard thing. Alright. Yeah, it's a little dry, a little jank, but not like... It, it's mostly functional?
I recognize that font, and I don't know what game I recognize it from, but it's definitely not an unpopular font. But yeah, like, an exit button on the main menu would be nice, and, um... Do they charge you to... Oh, and they sell you credits for money. There's the rub. Clever. Just not that much incentive at this point to do that. I imagine with the twenty dollar pack, you could get all the almost all the cars maxed out. Why? Why, controller? Why? You have to take a dive. We're on beer number one. This is like nothing. I don't know why. Also, my score seems to reset to, or maybe it's per car. There's no way to escape out of this, like. Yeah. Cancel buttons and an e exit button would be great. That's all I'm saying.